What's up? This is Corey Marsh from South Miami. Play running back and running back. All right, Corey. We'll talk about South Miami coming up this year. Big season last year, but there's been a coaching change over there. And why why should fans not think that this is going to be a drop off year for South Miami? Oh no, nah, we we're going to be like the same team from last year because we all we did was we lost our coach. That was a big thing, but we came back with our new coach David Gray, and then we still have a lot of our players from last year. We only lost like three main players, and that's that's nothing big. We 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 made them up very good, so. We just go have another another great season. We're trying to go far. We're trying to make the states this year and show everybody that we can do it again. What was the secret to the success last year of this team? Uh, just hard work, hard work and dedication. Like ain't heart. That's what that was another big thing. Heart. We we're not a big team, but we have a lot of heart. And that's all we really need is heart. Well, I'm, I'm looking at the U cap on you right now, and um, <laughs> there's some history of your family in, at the U. Can you take us through who your, some of your notable family members are? Well, um, yeah, I grew up loving UM. My uncle is Santana Moss, Sonoris Moss, and my first cousin on my, my on my mom's side is the Marcus Van Dyke. You know, all of them are U.M. graduates, alumni, and they're they're in the NFL right now. So I'm still gonna love you, Moss boy for life. And you, you keep close touch with Santana and Sonoris, right? Yeah, yeah, I just talked to Santana like last week. Okay. We we talked about cleats and stuff, how he wants me to stay healthy and all that. And what, what are some of the things growing up that maybe you learned from those guys and just from watching them and talking to them, that kind of thing? Um, just the mainly speed, you know, I found his name for speed. And then how to how to stay focused during games, don't let people take you out of the games, and how to stay focused during school so you, you can make it big in life. But you're a little different than those guys because those yeah. guys were speedy wide receivers and you're more a little more power linebacker, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm the... Okay. I'm one of the, the biggest ones in the family. My uncle, one of my other uncles, we're the biggest ones, and you know they play receiver and yeah, receiver and slot. I'm mm -hmm. a linebacker, linebacker and running back. I'm not as fast as them, but I come with a lot of power. I come with more power. How, how do you like that as opposed to being a, a speedy wide receiver? What, what's the what's the cool part of being a, a, you know a powerful linebacker that can hit people? Because uh, it's like it's it's better because a lot of people are like whoa, your family grew up on on the offense side of the ball, you on defense side. Like a lot of people like me because I like to kill people with the ball. <laughs> well, you did a good job of that last year. I know you you led the the team and led the county for a while in tackles, right? Uh, yeah, I led the county for at least seven games. Then right. I got injured and I was out. Somebody came back and, and got me. I came in third, came in third in the county, but it was all right. This year I'm coming first. I'm go all the way. Um, did that? Uh, how many college recruiters, I guess, took notice of you last year after that big season you had? Uh, last year, it was it was a lot of college recruits. Hopefully, like I just get like a, a full ride from all those schools, so I can know where to go at, and so I can stay home, stay close to home, stay with my parents. But is Miami one of them so far, or maybe? Or? Um, last year, they they talked to me a little bit, but like since 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 Coach Green left, it wasn't like a lot of college, colleges like fell back a little bit, but. Mm -hmm. Since um, Dave Coach, Coach Gray came, mm -hmm. I've been talking to a lot of colors and I've been going to a lot of camps this year. So hopefully, once the season's over, with, I have a lot of scholarships lined up. What would that mean to you, though? Like if if UM came calling and you could kind of follow that tradition of you know those guys? It'll be a big dream because you know I grew up loving UM. That's my favorite school. Like that's my family school. Right. That'll make my whole family real proud. In, in general, though, like what are you looking for a school? Looking from. You know, from a school, like what are you looking for? Is what I meant to say. Like, uh, not just football-wise, but overall, like their academic program. Everything. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a school with like with a with high academics and a school that that's with like business and animals. Like, I, I like animals. I want to okay. like if I don't make it in football, I want to be a veterinarian. Okay. So just make up with animals and like school and business-wise. So I'll open up veterinarian vets and stuff like that. Did you grow up with a lot of pets? Is that why? Yeah. Like, yeah I, okay. I, well, when I go to Georgia every summer with my godparents, okay, I help I help my neighbor and stuff. We raise pit bulls. Oh, all right. So like, I love love mainly dogs. Mainly dog lovers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And what what's um what kind of breeds have you had like well, uh, just pit bulls or other pit had... bulls? Now my god my godmother has a Great Dane. Okay. And then I I, I like to help a lot of my friends with they have snakes and tarantulas and stuff wow. like that. So what's the most like exotic pet you've ever had? Like uh well I I never my, well iguana my, my iguana? mom's 
terrified of it. I mean, but she, she lets me have right. my iguana. Yeah, as long as you keep it away from her, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. What'd you name it? What, what's the name of the iguana? Uh, nah, I never, never gave it a name. Just You just had him? Yeah. Just yeah. Okay. My mom was terrified of it. As long as you had him like, caged up where, yeah. she, where he couldn't yeah, she won't wake up one day house. and it's on top of her or yeah, something, right? go crazy kill everyone in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, man. Well, hey, Corey, good luck with everything this year. And, uh, you know, best of luck to South Miami and, and your future college endeavors and everything. Thank you.